APIs are a strategic part of digital transformation and business strategy. However, questions often arise about how companies budget the funding for the API programs. In this course, we'll look at how to articulate the value of an API program in order to secure funds. We know that while developing shared APIs inside IT is growing in popularity, traditional project-based silo integration approaches remain the rule, not the exception. Much of IT's budget and effort go to paying back technical debt and maintaining legacy assets that were not designed to gracefully expose data and business logic. While these are valid reasons for funding, APIs have a much, much larger impact than IT. APIs can fundamentally transform the business. If you're an executive or working with other executives on digital strategies for your business, get excited because we'll talk about how business cases for APIs can be made. A research paper was published in May 2017 by three professors from MIT and Boston University. Professors Seth Benzel, Guillermo Lagarda, Marshall Van Alstine studied massive amounts of data and built statistical regression models to compare the financial performance of 120 firms who invested in APIs over three years. They compared the firm's financial data with access to the API logs from that firm, which had data about the total volume of API traffic, developer portal usage, API keys, and even total number of APIs created over time. They also looked at by internal versus external APIs. The study was compared with results from firms who adopted APIs and from firms who did not adopt APIs in order to rule out any aggregate macro trend or random chance. The conclusion? There was a statistically significant relationship between companies who invested in API programs that saw an increase in sales, decrease in costs, translating to higher net income, and an overall increase in firm value by 12.7%. You might be thinking, while this research is incredible, taking this research paper alone and bringing it to your executive committee as a business case is likely not enough. Companies that recognize the strategic imperative to be a digital business will make numerous investments, small and large. Even with an executive mandate to be API first, companies traditionally make funding decisions based on their financial planning and analysis process. That means annual budgeting and capital investment prioritization that includes traditional measures like net present value, NPV, internal rate of return, which is IRR, or return on investment, typically ROI. Some companies are able to bypass this and gain enough initial API program funding through discretionary budgets for innovation projects, usually to fund a proof of concept or research. However, serious API programs that impact the business will require a substantial focus of capital resources and organizational adoption to realize a material ROI at the firm level. Building an API program business case with traditional measures of MPV or ROI is possible, but because of the nature of APIs, they can apply to just about every aspect of a business. It becomes ever more challenging as you try to include every possible business benefit and cost. In addition, due to the potential access to new markets, channels, and partners, and due to the pace of technological change, a five or more year financial projection is highly unpredictable. To avoid this boiling the ocean analysis, Companies take an option-based funding approach and focus instead on the short-term minimum viable product they need to demonstrate the business value with an option to access more funding later. This MVP approach is still a business case as funding is needed for an API program team with a dedicated resources and upfront software purchases. This cost can be funded as an MVP seed investment initially for one or two years with an option to increase funding either quarterly or annually based on results and opportunities realized. This gives management an ability to lower their initial upfront investment and with a door open down the road to pivot as results are known. Regardless of the funding strategy, every business case made for an API program, small or large, should be able to articulate a clear business value. Instead of laddering up to IT roadmaps and IT operations focused goals widen the field of view. Digital businesses must learn to have an outside in mindset, using a customer focused approach to define strategies and promote useful and impactful innovation. 
Evaluate the company's strategic business goals and apply the API impact to where the sources of revenue and value creation is in the company. For example, help to acquire customers, retain or increase customer spend by partnering with marketing. Innovate on products and services by partnering with lines of business. Similarly, look at potentials for APIs to impact the channels or markets your company competes in, especially existing digital channels or emerging channels like voice and IoT, could really offer greenfield opportunities with less legacy overhead. Some companies have been able to identify assets of the company, whether physical or digital or data, to monetize and create business partnerships through APIs. For example, Walgreens drove up retail traffic to its stores by opening up APIs to its photo print center within every one of their stores. Third-party developers partnered with Walgreens and used their APIs to create mobile apps with really innovative photo book and photo art making experiences that excited and delighted people. Their finished creation could then be printed conveniently at a local Walgreens through their API. Let's take a look at another example in depth where value creation evolved over time. A leading ticket sales company started out with their traditional business model of selling tickets. Their development teams would help create applications that allowed their sales reps to sell the tickets online and fans to go to their website and, and mobile apps to purchase them. However, the ticket sales company recognized that competition was increasing and consumers were more and more connected than ever and had many choices. So they had to rethink their strategy. In addition to their app development teams, the company started by adding API skill sets to build out APIs. They started converting their backend services that enabled ticket browsing and purchasing into APIs. Just by adding APIs in the middle allowed IT to have loosely coupled architecture. This two-tier architecture separated their front-end and back-end services with APIs as the intermediary layer, allowing their front-end teams to release and update the experience more often and enable the services teams to keep up without incurring as long of a test regression cycle. This was their first value realization. But they quickly realized that the APIs for the dot-com was also reusable for external sites. What was previous APIs for their dot-com could become externally available APIs. You know, fans weren't just going to the ticket company's website, of course. They were browsing sports websites, talking about events on social media, browsing local venue websites, and looking for details at big box retail stores. Rather than forcing their users to switch from site to site, the ticket sales company needed to be where the fan was, in the moment of that user's experience. But they also realized they couldn't just build APIs and expect partners to just pick them up. They worked on building a partnership at the business level, one by one. As a result, they established these partnerships and started seeing more traffic and transactions as their ecosystem has substantially multiplied beyond their own apps. Their APIs become the conduit in which their business transactions flowed. This became their second major value realization. Because their APIs helped them decouple their backend from the application experience layer, they were able to innovate themselves. Using Google Dialogflow, they were able to use speech recognition and conversation technology to make ordering by voice easier on a completely new channel inside the home. Now that's a third value realized. The ticket sales company just didn't stop there. In addition to generating the additional demand from consumers, the company also started to expand their supplier side. With their API digital platform, they allowed suppliers and other types of tickets to augment their own ticket inventory, creating a whole new business model where the company became a hub and a reseller of tickets to events and venues of inventory that was entirely owned by other providers. This company's story is really impressive, but the key here is that the value proposition for APIs changed over time. What was at first a cost and risk reduction with APIs enabled them to create business agility within their digital experiences that led to their ability to focus on their customer and explore new market and revenue opportunities. The sum of the APIs and connections in their ecosystem have certainly increased the speed and scale at which the company competes. And one could also argue that as a result, their business is harder to displace and their new lines of technology enable distribution and partnerships have increased their total firm value. Sounds just like the MIT and Boston University research paper, right? So let's take a look at this spectrum of opportunities and summarize their extracted business value for APIs. Some companies build their case in APIs as an integration play. 
These are traditional concerns of IT costs and efficiency as a primary business case. This typically results in retirement of redundant systems and maintenance costs. Some companies will build their cases on APIs as a route to greater speed and business agility. This typically means partnering with lines of business to demonstrate improvement in their KPIs as a result of faster speed to market in the form of new experiences. Some companies will build the business case more broadly by determining the value of KPIs as a platform and ecosystem. This typically means partnering with multiple lines of business and demonstrating improvement in KPIs as well as a better strategic positioning at a firm level in the form of new business models and channels. Wherever possible, move to the right and demonstrate broader impact on your business case. Once you have identified the business value, it's important to build in the investment part of the equation. Build in the total cost of ownership for your API, which typically includes software, support, and training services. In addition, make sure properly allocating funding for product teams to operate, build, and utilize APIs. Lastly, look for ways to acknowledge uncertainty and provide KPIs and measurable outcomes that create opportunities to pivot or increase investment when goals are realized. Finally, it may be further selling point to show the quantitative impact of having an APO program versus the do nothing or status quo. Showing the incremental revenue or significantly decreased marginal costs for developing new experiences with APIs is a great motivator. In addition, Line items for access to new channels will help highlight the difference in opportunity left on the table. Lastly, avoid these pitfalls when making your business case for API funding. Don't treat an API like a project. You need an operational platform. Don't boil the ocean with every benefit in your case. With every benefit in your case, focus on the key value proposition. Keep your ask for funding small enough so that you can prove the value quickly. The bigger the ask, the longer the finance assessment. Last, and most importantly, don't proceed without an executive sponsor. You'll need all the help you can get to understand how to tie the importance of APIs to management's top agenda. Good luck with your API business case and funding. If you want more information, check out the community for ebooks, articles, and other related topics. Thank you for watching.